Yo, what's happening? It's your boy, Care Poetry, if you ain't know it's me. It's your girl, Wildflower, of UBS Music, and this is... He, he said, said, she said. said. And we got a real good one for you today. This is our second episode, so thank y'all all for tapping in with us. We would love for all of y'all to uh, follow, like, subscribe, comment, all of that good shit. Yes, yes. And so, um, like you said, this is our second episode. Uh, we are going to just go ahead and jump right into the topics, okay? Um, now, sorry. yeah, let's do it. So, yes, the first topic we're going to talk about, we're going to go ahead and get Megan Tory and Academics out the way. I know y'all see all the tweets and everything like that. Oh um, yeah. So, first of all, there's just so much going on. How I feel about academic, how I feel about Megan, how I feel about Tori, how I feel about the situation with Tori and Megan together. I don't know what's going on. I, you know, want to protect black women. And I'm on Megan's side. I like Tori Lane. I do. I still listen to his music. I think he's very talented. Um, but I am on Megan's side until something else comes out. It Got does. it. Got it. Okay. Uh, and I. I respect it. I, I, I feel the same way in a sense. At this time, I'm like, I really don't believe anybody. I feel you because it's just like so much. Yeah, I'm not. Mixing it up of a, of I, a statement. I tried not to get too invested ever in the situation because, right. because one, it's two celebrities. Two, this shit happened in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? That should tell you enough right there. Yeah. So I I don't know who may be saying what, what could have happened. Now they're saying it's a third girl and what, does all the blame go on her? Well, or? That was so from the beginning because the story from the beginning was that it was Tori, Megan, her friend Kelsey. Mm -hmm. They were all at Kylie's house. house yeah, for a party. Room, and then something happened and then uh, on the way back home, that's when whatever happened, happened. Right. Between well, them, yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the car, still yeah. down the street. They didn't get far. Right, but I mean, now, I mean, before Megan wasn't coming out and saying it was not Kelsey. She didn't say that before, but now she's coming out and saying it wasn't her. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, it's just seen... I'm actually kind of exhausted with it. I'm just Me waiting too. for the day on birth to come out. Yeah, let, um, let, the, let the folks do their job. But it's going to suck, right. though, because, like, if Tory Lanez did do it, then that really sucks. Because I really it like the music. all together, yeah. And, and, you know, and everything. But but if he um did not do it, mm -hmm. then I have to, I have to, like, look at Megan's side eye because, oh, like, you were, you were about to put a black man in jail. Meg's career is gonna be done for. So, that's what we think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, they let. They let Takashi six nine. Like, no, you know. our mind went to the same exact thing. Yeah. And that's why I'm like, you know, these celebrities just do what you want to do, okay? It's, yeah. If six nine can do what thing he did and still have a career, even though he hasn't dropped anything in a while, you know, um, she can lie about this and still have, or maybe not. You know, they tend to punish black women a little more harshly than they do others. Yeah. So maybe not, actually. Yeah. While I'm sitting here running my mouth, maybe <laughs> not. We might just have to see what's going to happen with that. But academics, though, before we get on uh, that topic. that nigga is a low mama. <laughs> I kid you not. Like I'm, uh, I get so tired of like acting, and I understand that he has a job to do, mm -hmm. and uh, that's part of his his character mm -hmm. and all of that shit. But I I feel like it's also a part of his character. I know what you mean by that. You did like yes. like like double entendre. Like yeah. this dude really is a chatty patty. Yeah, this person outside of work. Like it's his persona, and I, I can't get down with somebody like that. Yeah. Because it, he he does a whole lot of things that feel like because I understand that I am a media personality, but I also run to the cops. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have protection to mm -hmm. say and do whatever mm -hmm. to anybody. Mm -hmm. But if somebody does something to me or whatnot, then. You know, then I have to get the people involved or yeah. whatnot. And I just can't get done with that because it's not the streets or nothing like that. I ain't saying it's the streets, but just out in regular life. Yeah. You, it's a certain way that you deal with people. And I think because he's gotten a certain amount of 
uh, clout and money. He thinks now that other people will protect you, but then people got to go home to their family too. Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean? There ain't nobody going to save you all the time. So I I just don't be feeling academics, bro. I hear a lot of Negroes say that. A lot of you guys do not like academics. <laughs> a lot of you guys, actually. I don't know that if I have come across one. <laughs> I don't know if I've come across one that has like liked him. And yeah. at the beginning, I liked him because, you know, I, I like to protect women and stuff like that. And I just do feel like he is a little mama, like you said. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> you know, but that is what it is. How do y'all feel about academics? Is there, please let us know in the comments if you are a guy and you actually I know what you like academics. Fan. Yeah, if you're a fan <laughs> of academics. Let us know, okay? Mm -hmm. If you're not a fan, but you just look at his content and talk shit, mm -hmm. let us know, you know? Because uh, there's some of that going on too. Yeah. Okay, so for the next topic, we're talking about something that came out uh, a couple, a couple weeks, weeks ago. ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, the topic is about Nikki and the new song, Do We Have a Problem? Do We Have a Problem? Yeah. All right, now, preferably we're talking about the video, mm -hmm. the song. Mm -hmm. Great song. I'm good. glad to see Nicki back out here, you know what I mean? She's doing her thing, and the song is really catchy. You know what I mean? I like Lil Baby on the joint. He right. sounds really good. Right. Now, let's get to the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the song is, we don't have too much to say about the song. It's, it's Nicki's baby, Lil Baby, because you know. Um, but the video. So let me try to explain to you all the best that I can about what happened if you have not already seen the nine minute video. And we're gonna do a, 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 a scene by scene breakdown. Y'all need to really understand what happened. So yeah, man. So do we have a problem? As you can see, Nicki Minaj is in the police station, okay? And she is a police. All right. And, all right. and look at her outfit. She cute and everything like that, but it's already unrealistic. Okay, but it's a Nicki Minaj video, so we've accepted it. We're not thinking too much about it. We're moving on to the next one. She looks video. good, though. Absolutely. Yeah, she smashed that. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, um, what happens is the guy from Power, mm -hmm. um, Tommy. Oh, yeah. He's yeah, her. Yeah, you know, and Tommy needs <laughs> Tom, James, something Sikora is his real name. I'll tell it. Tommy Sikora. That's not Tommy <laughs> that's his name. But yeah, y'all, so that's her uh, captain or whatever the case. He's telling her that she has to go in and question the bad guy, okay? So she goes in to question the bad guy, as you can see here. That's her questioning the bad guy. And then that's when the shit gets confusing, okay? Because now the bad guy is talking to her, Nikki, like he's the boss. And like he's giving her an assignment. Right. And I don't, I don't understand none of what's going on. They... <laughs> they claim they don't know him, but then they're like, oh, this is the boogeyman. And then the boogeyman is now telling Nikki, who was Who's the, real the boogeyman detective, or whatever. to do a job. It, it's really like, confusing. I know that it doesn't sound like we're making sense, but that's why we're trying to talk <laughs> to you guys about it, because we were confused. So, um, like we said, she starts questioning the bad guy. Mm -hmm. Things get confusing because it seems as if the bad guy is now giving her, the police officer, the assignment to go take out this guy or whatever the case, okay? So, mm -hmm. there's some sort of event that happens where Nikki is there. Uh, Tommy from Power is there waiting on her call so they can come in and do the thing, whatever they're going to do. Right, and it's like... It's like an auction that they're at. So Nikki's there bidding and behind her little baby's bidding. And then all of a sudden, okay, all of a sudden, <laughs> she just, she she's there with these two guns. And she's not aiming at that little baby. She's not aiming she, at anyone. She's, she's just, tomb she's she's just, just standing there with the guns, just standing and everybody's leaving, <laughs> ah, thing like that, right? So I'm confused at this point because like, okay, I thought she'd just be aiming at little baby because that's the person that she's supposed to be getting. Exactly. But, um... Then the next scene, as you can see, they're in the car together, little baby and Nikki. So they're together. And now, after I've talked about it, this is where this point is where it starts to make sense to me. Okay. Um, so let's fast forward before I tell you how and why it started to make sense to me. As you can see here, they're in the hotel together. Tommy walks in and it's like, oh, this is what's going on. You are with the bad guy. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's pretty much how it ends with Tommy finding out that. But even that, even because I, 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 I did skip some stuff. So yeah, but when he came into the room, 
how did he not? He acted like he didn't know that Nikki and him were together. He was like, right. Plus, her name was Nikki in this whole thing. I yeah. really didn't like that. Like, <laughs> come on, if we're gonna play this whole thing out, at least make her Onika or something. Yeah, you know I mean, this bitch was really Nikki. Like, but he comes in the room and he's like. Hey, take the gun from him. But then Nikki turns the gun on him. He's like, what happened? Like, now, okay, I see what you mean now. Like, um, as soon as he saw him in the room, he shouldn't. Yeah, 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 yeah I would have yeah. got down on him and then got down on her too. Like, the fuck are you doing just chilling in the room with this thing? Like, the next day, like, yeah. this happened yeah. last night. Exactly. <laughs> so that happened. Oh, and during that scene, as you can see right here, she says the famous line from Set It Off, which is, um, what's the procedure when you have a fucking gun you. to your head or something like that? Cute, but also like cringy because like it did not match the energy of the scene. It did not. And why would you say that to you? Yeah, yeah like partner. it just didn't make sense either, you know? So it was, that's why it was cringy. But um, let me go back to where it starts to make sense. So apparently, like, you know, her and little baby obviously were together through the whole thing. So that's why at the event, she wasn't aiming at him. She was trying to cause a ruckus so everybody could leave, including her and him. Because remember, Tommy and them was back there waiting for her call so they can go ahead and take the little baby out or whatever. But she didn't want that. So she just caused a ruckus with the tumor scene. She's looking at me like, it's some bullshit. She caused a ruckus, you know, so that everybody could leave and they could escape out together. And yeah, um, so so that point, that's where it made sense. But even though now it's making sense, they're in the car together, they were in the hotel together, it still was bad. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's that's so the videos, the video itself was just not my favorite, but the song. Do you think Nikki wrote? The video? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. I do. He's being funny. I'm sorry. Because you know that she, she didn't hire nobody. Hell no, nah, man. You know she. Y'all gotta excuse me. We're doing the front camera. I'm looking at myself. I need to be looking at y'all. Uh, right. Yeah, let's look over on this one. But yeah, y'all. Um, so that, that was it. So let us know um, how you feel about the video. The song is cool. Hell, if you don't like the song, let us know too. But right. about the video, do you did you understand it? Do you feel where we're coming from? Like, let us know in the comments, please. So, you guys, we are at our third topic here. And if you have made it this far, go ahead and like the freaking video if you have it already. Right. Okay, if you made it this far, because we got sure. like at a half point. So sure. go ahead. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button too. We, we not even, you know what I'm saying? Do that. But yeah, our third topic, you guys, Young Blue and Tank. All right? I don't know if y'all saw what happened. Such a weird Such a topic. weird combination of people to yeah. talk about. But we're here. We are here. And uh, I don't know if you guys saw what happened, but Tank and Young Blue, well, someone tweeted Young Blue. Mm -hmm. um, that he's the king of R&B, as you can see. I'm gonna make it pop up on the screen, but someone uh, tweeted Young Blue that he's the king of R&B. That was that person's opinion. No. And Young Blue retweeted it as someone would. I'm and then, um, you know, and then Tank comes under the comments where- Well, the, the, the shade room. The shade room's, room's comments. Yeah, the shade room posted this and Tank comes under the comments and says, um, I'm glad I'm from a different generation because y'all boys are wild or something like that. You can see it there. Um, personally, now, okay, here's what I feel about Young Blue. What is his sign? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out what his sign is because he's he gives me Taurus vibes. Okay. But I don't know what, what his sign is. But um, And I say that because he's emotional. You know what I'm saying? This is not the first time where somebody poke him a little bit and he goes off. Mm, I'm not familiar with Young Blue's social media. Um, I'm only familiar with life, his social yeah. media life and not the music. Really? Yeah, I'm dead ass serious. Wow. I don't think I've I don't ever know, heard a Young Blue song in this entire I don't team. know too much of the music. You've heard that song. What song? They say time. No, I haven't. No, I oh, heard man. I heard that part when you got to because you're my little part. I I heard people you know I heard it on videos and stuff, but I've never heard any okay. of his whole songs ever. Okay. Yeah. Um. However, um, I have seen you know little little situations. 
little situations where he, you know, people would poke him just a little, like they would start with him, but he would like, he really goes in and I'm not faulting him for that because, you know, you just leave people alone. You never get in a situation if you just leave people alone. Right. But um, this is what also happened with Tank too. It was with Pope and then he kind of went all, all the way with it. Again, not faulting him. But um, I think that people want to fault him because he's the younger one in the situation. And he's the less seasoned artist. Mm -hmm. um, and I understand where they're coming from with that. Because they're like, oh, you're not respecting the OG. Da, da, da. I understand that. Mm -hmm. But this man was living his life. Somebody tweeted something nice. He retweeted it. And then Tank came in with a little salt with that comment. Because Tank he didn't did. have to say anything. Okay. He didn't have to say that. He no one. He didn't have to comment, and he didn't have to make that comment because it was absolutely salty. Okay, I, fit, salty I agree. Salty comment from I agree. OG. Right. Let me let me let me let me let me play the whole thing. Okay. So from the beginning, somebody commented uh, something. Mm -hmm. Basically, made a statement saying that they believe he's the king. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fine. We've had this and, before. Right. There are no kings. We're not even gotta get into that. There, there are kings, but everybody got their own different. Exactly. Kind of so then anybody can be the king. Yeah. You know yeah I mean? you know, so How many people have to be a part of a kingdom for you to be a king? Right. Yeah. You know I mean. So, but that's just one thing. Okay. So the nigga retweets it. Yeah, that's fine. That's what you're supposed to do. Now, the the extra shit is when they start getting into the whole mm -hmm. whole tweeting shit. Because then we find out about the song that mm -hmm. he yeah. never did or whatever. Yeah. And that he has the messages or whatever. Right. Of Tank texting him numerous times. And then it's like, that's some whole shit. Wait, on whose part? Blue? Blue. Okay. You don't have to do the song. But communication is also a thing too. And I everybody can be like, oh, well, I'm not around my phone or mm -hmm. da 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 mm -hmm. or they don't owe you anything. And it's like, okay, well, you gonna fit you know what I mean? Respect is a two way street. Mm -hmm. Once you open the lane of disrespect, you you can't tell somebody how to disrespect you, you know? I understand. I just don't feel like he opened a lane of disrespect by not re responding. Even though that's off putting, I just don't feel that it was disrespectful. But then he said the extra shit in the in the message after that, uh, or in the tweet. Okay. That's when he said, "Oh, I want to get you mad because I didn't get on that whack ass song." And he did that lie. because of Tank's comment, though. But if you solid. Why do it now? Why not express that from the beginning? Okay, because I'm your I'm your little, right? And and I got an like, OG, you know what I'm saying, trying to do a song with me. So right. that's cool, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But maybe I don't like the song that he sent, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I don't Respect. want maybe I don't want to do it. And so I could tell him that, but maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe maybe I don't want to answer to him now because maybe I might change my mind or maybe I did get busy or maybe it just wasn't good enough for me to care that much to answer, but that's still an answer for Tank, okay? So that's where I'm at first. So I did, I did answer back about the song or whatever like that. Somebody retweet or tweets that I'm the king. I retweeted it and I hand go this Negro that I didn't answer to the right. way salt. That's what I said. So Both now, so now I'm gonna come out and be like, oh, okay, I'm sitting here trying to let shit run. Now, doing now, you could here take have been song. saying, could take have been saying, yeah. that the young nigga who said that he was the king was who is wild. I think you that that's what you were saying. Yeah, you responding or retweeting that somebody said you're the king, that's fine. I yeah, mean, yeah. that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. You're not supposed to be weak in this game. You know what I mean? So I that's fine. But somebody else saying that you're the king. Yeah. yeah, that's what he's saying. That I think that's, wildin'. I think that that is what Tank is saying, but he still is still So why does me. Young Blue get upset? Because if you you are commenting something salty off of a tweet on my page like that's about me it's the same thing you, you know what i'm saying you. if he was talking you. about young blue be wild that, that would be even more disrespectful yeah that, but that's i don't think that he was like, okay, he i think that he crazy. was just talking about like the thing. yeah like you young niggas as well but, but still like, I just feel which like, is true y'all young niggas be wild but at the same time i just feel like tank just shouldn't have said anything exactly. That's that's the ultimate Why thing. Why comment Just at all? Business. Because you felt hit. You either felt hit that this is somebody who didn't answer you back about that's the what world, it was. or you felt hit that this is just someone new in the game that people are now daring to say is a king, and you just 
gravely disagree. I like Young Blue music. He's not a king yet. And that's 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 full respect. But like Tank said, it's a lot of things you have to do before you can be a king. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of time you got to put in. Like he said, Usher took a lot, of, a lot of time to get to where he is. Chris Brown took a lot of time before they could just give you those names, King of Pop or King of Dance or mm -hmm. King of R&B. That's true. That's true. But you know, the thing about that, that's But right. the timing, timing was the worst thing. He picked the wrong time to say that. And exactly like you said, if he just came out and was talking about this on his own accord, mm -hmm. that would be completely different mm -hmm. than you bringing that up under the comments mm -hmm. of another mm -hmm. page's mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, yeah, that's what makes it some hope. So basically, I'm blaming this on Tank. Like, I, I think that if there's if there's anyone wrong in the situation here, then it'd be Tank. He didn't do too much, but if there's yeah. anyone wrong, it'd be Tank because he did not have to say anything at all. Tank he be drinking. He could have <laughs> read that tweet. <laughs> if y'all didn't see it. kept it pushing. Tank be drinking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, but, but I think that Young Blue is an emotional guy. Um, rightfully so. Like I said, I'm very interested in seeing his Yeah, story. RB, yeah, of course. He yeah, but some of them don't be like acting like that. But again, I know like it sounds weird, but like I am not faulting him for me because he, he just talks about what he believes in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you feel like he's being punked or somebody's saying something that is just not true or something like that, then he's going to come out with the whole truth and you're going to be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? But leave him alone. Like, I don't yeah. see that he does anything right. to anybody. You know, I'm gonna start listening to your music. <laughs> One thing that I want to say before we move on to the next topic is, um, so about the whole king debate. Mm -hmm. So I agree that you know you have to do this, you have to do that before you can get certain titles. But who determines that? I think the people determine that, and that's the scary part because some if the people determine who's king and queen or what whatever, people, like the people funding their fucking lifestyle, us, the fans, the supporters. So, so this is what I'm saying here. Come like how many of us are the ones that buy this? <laughs> like buy music. Anybody can cut like like okay. For example, you got YK Osiris, you got uh, Bucky Chris Brown, you got Usher. You know, I, I did that on purpose. Tears. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, like each of them. I don't even know why K. Osiris should be mentioned with those. <laughs> well, he sings R&B. Really? What type of thing is a I know what that means. <laughs> He sings R&B. Oh. He sings R&B. He's okay. comparable to Chris Brown. Okay. I'm not saying they're on the same level. They're comparable because they sing R&B. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying that because, you know, people like... Right. Okay. But um, I brought those three up because I feel like it's Wackel Cyrus, Chris Brown, Usher. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. Um, so um, my whole point is each of those artists have their own fan base. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's some youngin around here saying that YK Osiris is a king of army. You know what I'm saying? Now, of course they be young. <laughs> of course we look at them crazy, but that is their truth because they don't feel Usher the way that we feel Usher. Okay, they so you see the king of the children. You see, I mean, we I'm have just to saying, start I'm, I'm just saying that I'm saying hypothetically, <laughs> because all of these men have their own fan bases mm -hmm. and we have Twitter that's and stuff like that. The king of the that's what I'm saying. But I'm, but I'm just saying like maybe don't even diminish it to that because they have real fan bases that are really funding their lives. So it's like if a young man mm -hmm. tweets YK Osiris, for example, y'all, is um, the king of R&B, that's laughable to us. We don't have to mm -hmm. go into why it is. But for that young man, why can't Osiris is their king of R&B? And, and we can't really take that away from them because they don't know Usher. They don't know Tate okay. or anybody else. And, and it's, it's ridiculous to us. There. Exactly. It's ridiculous to us. But from that youngin's point of view, it's just different. You know what I'm saying? So, I, so my point is when it comes to the whole king of R&B and stuff, like I just, like everybody just have, everybody's yeah. going to have their own list. And, you know, because otherwise, what's the criteria? What is the criterion for someone to be counted as the king of R&B, as the queen of whatever? What's the criterion other than public opinion? People being like, this is my king. It's Usher. It's Chris Brown. It's Tank. It's whoever. It's Jock Please. <laughs> That's all but I wanted to say, y'all. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> I just got one question, okay? Where is Lil Nas X? Where, where is he? Because he's our favorite troll, okay? And he has been pretty quiet lately. 
Um, so I wonder if he's working on something new or if he's going through stuff, you know what I'm saying? I just wonder if him and Nikki will ever have a song together. Um, but maybe, maybe that's coming. You I know, don't Nikki's know. album is coming, why not? Well, um, side note, yeah, about you know, just Nikki doing stuff because there was something that came out about um Benzino was on Clubhouse apparently. Mm -hmm. Talking he about up the coil of I'm, I'm trying to tell you right now, to try to tell people that Nikki and Koi and Ray are gonna do a song together and um just kind of ruin that for his daughter, you know. Um, I don't think that they're not gonna let the song out anymore. I think they're just trying to throw us off about it being a thing. Um, and if they do scrap the song because of this, that's freaking whack. That's whack for Koi. I like Koi the Real, so you know, on this show, I'll probably just get her up. She's definitely <laughs> cute. She's a Taurus as well, and she just, you know, the music to is her a thing. for me. Yeah, um, I like her music. You know what I'm saying? I like her though. Um, but anyways, we ain't talking about Cole, we talking about Lil Nas X. And where the heck he has been. Um, I just really like him. He's he's a, he's a likable person. Mm -hmm. I can say that. Okay. The nigga, he, he's funny. Definitely. You know what I mean? He's Have you listened to his last album? Did you give it a chance? Did I listen to the album? Did you give it a chance? I can't say that I did. You know what? The way that did you I said hear, that to me. Did I hear certain songs? The popular ones, of course. I mean, you couldn't mm -hmm, mm -hmm. really avoid those. Um, I think he's extremely talented. I think the kid uh, doesn't give a fuck, which makes him even more polarizing. You know what I mean? That mm -hmm. he does those kind of things. And he has fun with it. I like... I like when people who are different don't have to make that their identity. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I like that he is a person, has his own personality yes. that extends past his sexuality. Absolutely. And so I think that makes him more relatable. Mm -hmm. So yeah. other than that, I, I don't know. What <laughs> well, that was good. Um, that was good. Um, I just really like him. Um, he we haven't really seen anything like him before, um, and um, it's important for the representation. You know, for you know people who are who can identify the way that he does. Um, mm -hmm. And aside from all that political, you know, stuff, the music, like you know what I'm saying. Um, it's hard to categorize, but I would just personally, my opinion, categorize him as a pop artist. Um, what, is, what is pop? That's exactly why we categorize him as that, because when you don't know what to say about right, it, right. you'd be like, okay, is it weird enough to be alternative? No, pop. Yeah, he fits in there with the, like, <laughs> you know, he, with the Madonna. And all of that, you yeah. know. Um, but yeah, you guys, the album is old, you know, at this point, um, but it's really freaking good. Um, it's it's good and he the way he speaks in interviews it's like he writes it or at least has a, a big head in writing his own songs which makes me love him even more but the songs are good they're good they sound good the content like what they're actually about like it's good like yeah um but yeah i just yeah, want to get some of you niggas singing that montero song uh, <laughs> It's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's a great song. Baby. He didn't even say it, so, baby. He said Montero. Uh, call me when you what, ass? No, they no. No, see that one. Like I said, you couldn't avoid the songs. You can't avoid the shit. Did you see the video of Montero? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 I saw the internet sharing clips <laughs> of specific things that I have specifically watched the entire video and I can't say that. <laughs> Look. I love Lil Nas. I don't know who he is. So best believe that when he does pop out, I'm gonna mention it and talk about him some more. I fuck with it. Yeah, do y'all like Lil Nas? Let me know why or why not. And if you wanna come down in the comment section talking about you don't like him because he did some devil shit or something like that, well make sure you don't like yourself and everybody else that you're hanging around because all y'all be sinning. Hell. Well, we have come to the point where we have reached our last topic, guys. Okay. Um, so Armoretta's song. What's it called again? Sorry Not Sorry. Sorry Not Sorry. Yes, yes. Um, so I always like when she drops. She's super talented and everything like that. All right, uh, my camera cut off because my battery died and we only working on a little bit of battery <laughs> right now. So let's go ahead we and talk about Amaretta. Yes. Um, we were talking about her before we got cut off. Um, so 
apparently, according to her, a lot of you guys I met from here are not actually from Atlanta. You know what? I got a couple friends who, it's funny, not even a month ago, and just having this conversation, they was uh-huh. like, all these little podunk towns are... <laughs> The biggest thing in y'all city is the bank. Y'all not that. <laughs> y'all not Atlanta. And I was like, that's kind of disrespectful because Riverdale don't have no high rise buildings, but we got a couple. We got a couple tall buildings. Do you? Maybe like three, but that that's all we need. That is all we need. Is it the jail? In Riverdale, <laughs> don't don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. But. Walk a flock put us on the map. Like, we in Atlanta. He says us like both of us are not from Yeah, Atlanta. they have. But yeah, being an out of towner, you know, um, it's just funny. It's funny that, you know, because I know people who are from College Park and from the South Side, stuff like that, and right. who will absolutely claim that they're from Atlanta. Nor do I. Listen, to me, you're all from Atlanta. I'm right. not from all here. So to me, you're Atlanta. all from Atlanta. So that's why this it's a funny. big ass small city. All of y'all niggas are from Atlanta. That's that's what it's funny because obviously she's from here, so she would have a different, you know, so respect to what she's saying, you know what I'm saying? Because there are some people who can agree with her. But she being an out of town. Five mile radius. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. You all like to us and to a lot of people who are not from here, which a lot of people are not from here, y'all are from Atlanta. Now the only thing that as an out of towner I can agree on is like, okay. Gwinnett probably isn't Atlanta. It's yeah, its own thing. Gwinnett, it's nah, its own nah. thing. Now, back home, I still say Atlanta because it just doesn't make sense to tell them Gwinnett. They don't know what I'm talking about. Right. But, you know, here, yes, Gwinnett is not Atlanta. But, um, oh, yeah. Also, so I had a friend who is from Atlanta. You know, mm-hmm. I guess the five-mile radius that I'm right. talking about. And she, um, I was editing a video. One of my friends was saying that he was from Atlanta, but he was from Cobb County. <laughs> And you know me from out of town, I. Uh, yeah. But she, she was like, she was doing my hair, and she was like, Cobb County. She literally said it like that. She was like, see, all these people be clear. So she was on like. As a matter of fact, I need to ask her how she feel about this Amarita song. She, she probably, probably helped her write it. Way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when yeah, I Cobb first County, ever I heard of Cobb County. It's by some niggas that we claim as Atlanta niggas. When you but hear music, it is Atlanta though. Like it'll it say is because it'll say South Atlanta. It'll literally say these, Atlanta. So listen, that's, that's, in that's Riverdale, Atlanta. I can write Atlanta instead of Riverdale, and my package will get to my house. So I don't mm-hmm. give a damn what y'all talking about. Yeah, it's all considered and so, and so Atlanta. That's where, thank you for saying that because <laughs> that's my whole point of bringing that up. Is like as an out of towner again, I want to respect you all because y'all are ratchet, and I don't want to step on your toes. Yeah, so, wild. as an out of towner, I'm just saying like, those places literally on the addresses say Atlanta. So when you say that they're not from Atlanta, what do you mean they're not from the hood? Yeah, they're not from a zone. Okay. She saying you gotta be from a zone. Okay. Okay. And Despite if your address zones. says Atlanta. Yeah, obviously we know <laughs> zones aren't that big. Like right. <laughs> they were created for a reason. Right. But yeah. It is what it is. Amaretta, so, you sparked. Yeah, a whole yeah, yeah. Lot of um, the song was cool. Um, I thought it was cute. Uh, I like when y'all be talking about who's from Atlanta, and who's not from Atlanta. It's just interesting um, on the outside looking in. Um, but yeah, so let us know in the comments where you're from and if it's Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, you guys, we had to take a little pause. <laughs> we were talking about Amaretta and how. None of you guys are from from Atlanta, actually. Out of five thousand of you, it's probably fifty of you who were actually from Atlanta. Give, them a Give you seven more. <laughs> um, but no, um, I like Amaretta. I want her to keep dropping because she should definitely be bigger than what she is. Yeah, Amaretta is fire. She can really rap. Like, yeah. Don't get caught up in a song. Yeah. She She's can really, fine. really rap. Um, but yeah, check that out if you haven't. Again, let us know where you're from and if it's actually Atlanta. Um, like the video, subscribe if you have not already. And look forward to us coming back next Monday with some more topics, okay? Yeah, All right. Um, and also, um, look out for I'm dropping interviews every week on the UGS page. Um, and they'll eventually be on YouTube, too. This episode is obviously on YouTube, but... Um, I've been dropping an interview on the Instagram pages. They're not on YouTube yet. They're going to be. And this week, I think we have um, an interview with Golden Dropping. So take a look out for that. Same with me, man. I'll I be dropping shit. I, I've been under the radar for a second. But listen, just look out. Kid Poetry on all your social media platforms, streaming platforms, da 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 da
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is an artist, Kid Poetry. Um, yeah. He's tagged in the video, so go ahead and follow him. Until next time, y'all, my name is Wildflower. I am Kid Poetry. And this is He Said, She Said. See you next Monday. AG Dynasty.